Hi there, welcome back to the farm. So in the last video, I was, uh, what were we doing? I think the last one we were picking potatoes, but the last video of the shop, I was actually working up on the roof, getting that completed. And since then we've gotten a ton of work done and uh, we're actually waiting for a building inspector to come check it out so that we can insulate. So um, we have, we framed up, if you can see back there, we framed up a couple walls and built a set of stairs up to the top floor. And then around this side, we built a little deck off the back side of the second floor. And um, so we got those two major things complete. The other thing I had to finish up was I had to finish all of this house wrap all the way around the building. I had to install a whole bunch of hurricane ties for every single joist or every single truss, I had to secure it to the frame of the building. So we got all that stuff done. And um, and then I found out that the building had to be wired before the building inspector would give me the okay to insulate. So that kind of threw my, my plan was I was gonna wire it over the winter. And um, that kind of threw a wrench in our plans. I ended up just calling an electrician. He came in here and in three days, he had this entire shop wired. He installed a whole bunch of LED shop lights in here so I can work at night and put plugs everywhere, wired in the garage door openers, and what else did he do? He put a welding plug in in the corner there. He put a 240 volt outlet under the stairs just for because we want to put a hot water tank in there that'll heat the floor. And he did that all that in three days, which would have taken me the entire winter. So in the end, it was a good idea to get him in here. Other than that, we have been just plucking away at little jobs. Uh, we got our cows and our pigs butchered. I, uh, I slaughtered and skinned the pigs, shipped them off to a butcher, and they are now in the deep freezer. We have sausage. We have breakfast sausage. We got bacon. We got back bacon. We got roasts got all sorts of stuff we're, we're actually really impressed with how much meat we got out of the two pigs I don't know off the top of my head how heavy they were but um, we were pretty impressed um, the cows we hired a butcher he came here and he slaughtered skinned and quartered them and then he took them up to his uh, his cooler and he's actually butchering them as we speak so we're gonna be going to pick those up soon uh, I don't know how much meat we got from those cows we will uh, probably do a video on how we did with the cows in the near future. We planted probably 200 heads of garlic or 200 cloves of garlic. So we got our garlic in for next year. That was kind of a team effort with the whole family. We went down there and uh, set up a garden bed, a garlic bed. Oh, we have a new project, a new project that we haven't, uh, we've been keeping under wraps just because we've been too busy to video. But we've got these two shipping containers set up and it's just, you know, great. These shipping containers are great storage for throwing, you know, valuables in. Stuff that you don't want in the shop. I keep all my fuel, all my chainsaws, just all the bulk stuff. You know, I've got piles of old fittings and electrical stuff and lumber and I'm storing them in these two shipping containers. And then we ordered a set of trusses to span the top of the shipping containers, which I don't know when I'm gonna do that, but it's on our to-do list. We're gonna build, it's just gonna be an extra space to park the tractor, to park the quads, to park the skidoo, and just all the outside stuff that we don't want clogging up the shop. Because it's, it's winter here for the next five months, we set up this 10 by 20 shelter logic greenhouse, and this is gonna be our chickens kind of uh, solarium you might call it. It just gives them somewhere where they can go and scratch away at stuff. They can um, they can kind of pretend that it's not winter time. Just gives them somewhere where they can go and scratch away at some wood chips. Because as you can tell, winter has found us here. We've had a couple snowfalls now. We've had a couple snowfalls where it, uh, you know, it snows all night. We wake up with four inches of snow and then it's five degrees during the day. It all melts, turns into mud. 
So um, winter's kind of found us. It hasn't quite uh, descended on us yet, but it's coming. So that is another thing that we've been trying to get ready for. I don't know. It just feels like we've, we're never, ever ready for winter. Every year we tell ourselves we're going to put all our tools away. We're going to clean everything up. We're going to be ready. And then winter comes and it's, it's always a mess. This is a compost pile. It's sitting, uh, depending on where I stick the thermometer, it's, it can be anywhere from 160 to, you know, 60 degrees. This entire pile is um, filled with wood chips and dead animals. So we, uh, we had to get rid of a whole batch of laying chickens just because they were getting too old. And so the bottom, like three feet, is 50 laying hens and wood chips. And then we have all the excess, the offal from the pigs and the guts and the heads and the feet. Everything from the pigs is in there. And then on the top, we got all the stuff from the cows. So we got the intestines, the stomach, the heads, the everything is in that pile. So we have two cows, two pigs, and 50 chickens and a bunch of wood chips cooking away in there. And I probably won't use it in our garden next year, but I'll let that sit there for two years and it will... Uh, it will turn into compost so that's about it for the farm right now we are uh, we're just cleaning up the last of our little tasks and getting ready for winter so we will be putting out some more videos in the near future and uh thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one